the function of the spirit of man is to be able to worship is to worship is to be able to fellowship with God is to be able to receive revelation with God I mean from God now if we read from the Bible John chapter 4 verse 23 to 24 says but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth for the Father is seeking such to worship him God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now the worship of God in spirit and in truth is to be done by the spirit of man. The truth of God's word is to be backed up by the spirit of God if we want to have true and acceptable worship to God. So we see it clearly written here. The time is coming, the Lord said, and now is. Now, if then was now, then now is much more now than then. So when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, we are to worship the Lord in spirit. We are to worship Him in spirit. You are to yield yourself to the Spirit of God. Now, the physical body is so world conscious that sometimes those who are lost in the spirit of worship to the Lord, for example, they praise and worship, or somebody just feels or wants to release himself or herself to worship God, you look strange and weird to some people. But, God is spirit. And of course, because of that, those who worship him must. It's a must. You cannot worship him in your, just your head. Worship is not just a head thing. Worship is the thing that is to come from the very essence of your being. We are to do it in spirit and in truth. Now, it's important for me to mention here that many people want to worship God in spirit. In other words, they go into spiritism and they don't want to do that in truth. They don't want it to be in truth. And some also gather so much information, they know what the Bible says. But they do not want to allow the spirit of God to lead them. They don't want to yield themselves fully to the Spirit of God. And so they have so much of head knowledge and do not allow. That's why the Bible says in another place, it says that they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power. You know what it means to deny? To deny is to refuse access, to, 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 be, to, to not be allowed, to be disallowed. So they deny the power thereof. They do not allow the power of God to have access in their lives or in what they are doing. I'm sure that that is making sense. So it's good for us to take note of that. Let us also understand that the believer spirit is designed to share God's secret in fellowship so the number one thing that the spirit of man is to do is to worship and number two thing that the spirit of man is to do is to fellowship with his creator as a matter of fact this answers the question of why did god make make us to be spirits because to most people human beings are only their body so that's why in their own assessment in their approach to people in the way they react or respond to things. They only think of human being as mere physical being. So this is going to help you to understand why God 
designed us to be spirit. He designed us to be spirit because he is spirit. He designed us to be spirit because we need to worship him in spirit and in truth. In fact, he is seeking for true worshippers. Now that tells you that they are worshippers. But he is seeking for true worshippers. And true worshippers are to worship him in spirit and in truth. 